Hey guys, hello and welcome to my next video in the tiny home series. This is the 8x8 tiny like cabin on the lake. And the whole theme for this house was like, it's an old house on a lake that hasn't really been remodeled, but that's okay. Um, it is like a vacation home, so I don't really think people would live here all of the time, but right now I'm doing the main little living area with the dining room and living room. And this is the secondary bedroom. Now we're doing the little like office space because you have to have a computer even if you're on vacation. This is the bathroom. And I really like the whole bathroom and the hallway setup. You'll see later when I do the tour. And this is the master bedroom. As you can see, I did make it smaller in the end because the secondary bedroom was too small. It does have a little yard to the side, but it is on a lake in the middle of the wilderness. So this is not the only nature that they have. This lake took me a really long time to do, and so did the um, curved bridge that I made. I set it up beforehand because I knew it would take me forever, and I didn't want this video to be too long. Now I'm just flattening out the terrain and putting some trees, because it has to look like it's in nature even though it's kind of in the same neighborhood that all of my buildings are in that I've built. It sounded really weird. And I, it took me a while to flatten that because I didn't know it was wrong. It's because I had a parking space and I forgot to move it. Now I'm just testing out if cars would fit. And they do, they're just really close to each other. But they don't overlap, which is, which is good. This is the second sort of picnic area. Um, yeah, and... Now, I believe I'm doing the yard. Yeah, just added some sleeping bags. I'm actually recording the commentary after the next part, so if I repeat something, I'm sorry. Oh my goodness, let me just say that this looks so pretty. The Sims is such a pretty game. Like, look at this. We'll do the outside later, but let's just cross the bridge. Oh my god. The little curved bridge that I made and go into the house. Okay, so we are here on the porch and over there is just a sneak peek to next week's, or not next week's, the next video, the 7x7. Seven seven. Let's go through the door. Again, as you look down, you see this welcome mat. I really like putting like a welcome mat or something like similar into my houses because it just makes it look more realistic. Um, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit more. I feel like I'm kind of at ground level, but here's the kitchen and there's pots and pans. I feel like this is kind of like like in a movie, you know, like like we're something really small and we're in this house. But um, there's the kitchen, very. Um, weird. I'm kind of at a weird angle, and I really like this design with the, like, these huge windows and, like, the little blinds that don't go all the way down. I think it's really pretty, and the view is amazing. Um, the TV, I believe, from University Life, um, if you're living here, you're probably, like, not gonna spend much time on the TV and like I'm gonna say that this is most likely like a vacation house people don't live here like a hundred percent of the time so yeah they definitely wouldn't be using the TV and then here is maybe the like the rug for their favorite team or university yeah very simple Living room, I like this chair that came with Supernatural. You saw I was, I was trying to build. I wanted to put the couch version of this. I just like it because it's like with branches and it fits the whole woodsy theme. Here's the dining room, very small, just with a tiny little light at the top. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not that big, but it's nice. I like the placement. And over here you have a bookshelf and a place to paint. And if you're painting, you could just turn around and look at the amazing views. Oops, nope. <laughs> yeah. 
really nice. I could look this way. See the picnic table on the on the other side of the lake. And if you keep going this way, you get a table with a computer on it. Again, they probably won't be using this computer a lot, but if they need it, it's there. You guys can't really see it, but because it's like black. Um, yeah, it's definitely, oops, no, definitely there. Now let's turn around and go into this little hallway here next to the the phone. And you have two choices. Well, I didn't realize that the, the wallpaper had this like pattern to it, but I like it. You have two options, one to go outside and one to go into the restroom. Again, with that same wallpaper. I actually really kind of like it. Um, you just have a rug to wipe your feet on, you know, after you get out of the shower or something, if you're wet. Just very standard if you have a toilet. Not if you have a toilet. They do have a toilet. Um, that sink with the flowers. Just because, I don't know, I think it really fit because this place looks really, like, woodsy and old. And yeah, in a blue, blue shower. Let's turn around and go to the master bedroom. This house, I feel like, is really old. Like, it was built a long time ago. But it's definitely not a starter house because I believe it was 30000 Because the lot is huge. And it's, like, it's amazing. If you own a piece of land this big, it's probably going to cost a lot more than what it does. But here's the master bedroom. Same thing, just, like, doesn't have to be too nice because people don't live here all of the time. But, yeah, it is old because, oh, wow, if you, I don't know if you can see, but you could, there's clothes inside of the dresser. They have views to the um, backyard, and I put in some sleeping bags just in case they wanted to watch the stars because they're away from the city, probably not much light pollution. And, yeah, it does follow that, like, really old theme that, like, this house was built a long time ago, and they haven't really changed much. But it's a nice sized bedroom, I'd say. Um, so far, none of the house builds have been really challenging, but once we get smaller, it'll definitely be more of a challenge. This is the children's bedroom, or just a secondary bedroom. I did make this bedroom a little bit bigger to fit in a wardrobe. Uh, off camera, after I built it, I just made it three squares wider and made the master a little bit smaller. Um, yeah, not nothing really too different. Same wallpaper, just some curtains that I thought looked really old, and the same bed that matches the sink with the flowers. And yeah, more flowers on this bed. Now let's go to the like little yard area. Okay, so if we turn around and go back through this door. Also, I really like how the doors have flowers on them. This house just is very naturey, like. The walls in the main room are wood. You go back through this hallway and you exit this door. You get a very small little, it's not even a patio. It's just a little like landing to get down. You have a little, like little, I said little twice, walkway over here. And you have your washing machine and a uh, laundry bin. Over here you have the clothes wire and... Just a place for maybe children to play on this thing that, like, moves. That's how, that's all I can really describe it. And here you have the air conditioning unit. Because I'm assuming it gets pretty hot here in the summer. Which is why they also have this hose thing that just sprays water everywhere. They have a sandbox, and as I mentioned, sandbox. Sand, um, like, play area. And as I mentioned earlier, they do have sleeping bags for watching the stars at night. They also have a um, football and a soccer ball. And then they have a large fire pit for the winter time. And I moved this off camera, this little snow cone machine, so I could put in these electrical like boxes just to make it look a little bit more realistic 
and here is a B like cage. Not really sure. But if you exit this way, you get to the front area of this island on the lake and the the curved bridge. This took me a really long time, guys. I'm really proud of this bridge. Oh, we're going to go through it. We're going to uh yeah, we're going under the bridge. That's fine. So we've crossed the bridge and you have this dirt pathway that if you go on one way will take you to a small parking lot with two parking spaces and if you keep going you have this picnic area with a place to sit, a barbecue, like a public barbecue and oh, I didn't realize how close this stuff was but um, a bench and you have just trees, little bay right here in the lake more trees it just looks very woodsy and there is another like tree house thing that i built a long time ago that's like future themed if you guys want me to do a tour of this on my channel at a later time just leave that down in the comments yeah. now let's turn around and go in the other direction this game is just so pretty you can see the the bridge in the background just so nice, it really is. I like it. Okay, now let's follow this dirt pathway one more time to the other side of the lake. And as you can see in the lake, there is a little rock with a tree on it, like right there off to the side, just because I didn't want to make it too boring, just a lake. And this will take you all the way to the edge of the lake and the lot. Another just tree. Let's walk along this pathway until we get to the second picnic area. Which is right here and it's like across from the house. You have another picnic table and a public barbecue thing. Oh, I didn't even realize I put the, the little picnic basket inside of the tree. Whatever. It does look like a public park, but it's definitely not. Oops, that was my finger. Definitely not public. It is a private property. People just can't walk here. And they have a fire pit. And one of my favorite parts of the lake is just right here. It is another rock with a huge tree on it, like the tallest tree on the lot is right there and yeah you just have more trees there let's, let's go for a swim in the lake let's go for a swim in the lake sorry that it's kind of dark that's a little bit better this is the very slim passageway between maybe like a mountain heavily forested mountain and the island that the house is on just gonna give a tour of what's around our house. Sorry, my finger keeps popping into the picture. And there's the Simpsons house that I do have a video of on my channel. I will leave a link to that in the description. If I remember, I'm sorry if I don't. But yeah, let's just go all around. This place is just so beautiful. I'm really glad at how this turned out. It's really pretty. I want to go under the bridge one more time. I don't know why it looks really dark. It's not. Let's go under the bridge one more time. Woo. Okay. Okay, so that is it for this video. If you like this house, and this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also, go follow me on Twitter. I will leave my Twitter in the description. And have a wonderful rest of your day, everybody.